This map first impressions video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Please like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody and welcome back to another map first impressions video. Today we're going to take a look at Wonderland. This map can be found over at modhoster.com. There will be a link in the description below. So let me read a little bit of the description before we jump on in. First off, this is a 4x map with multi-fruit. In fact, the additional crop types are hops, white cabbage, red cabbage, rye, spelt, carrots, onion, and tobacco. There are three BGAs, two yards, uh, 19 different forests, one city, 16 cell points, a purchase point for lime, fertilizer, liquid manure, and manure at the nursery, 33 field missions, one hop plantation, a sawmill, and seven fuel depots. Let's go ahead and jump on in. And one thing of note is unlike the, um, the map video that we did just the other day that included a download to a multi-fruit harvester pack, this map does not make any mention of uh, any additional mods being recommended to harvest the additional crops. So I'm going to uncheck this because I do want to see if in the map there maybe are some embedded vehicles and implements to aid in the harvesting of those additional crops. With that, let's go ahead and jump on in. Let's pull up the log. What everything has to say. So we do have a warning here related to the brand name for these wooden gates. Only cap, so we can read, only capital letters maybe are allowed in the brand name. Nor the fail to request message that is base farm sim 19 errors there. And we do have a warning related to the farmland information layer. Um, this is implying that uh, some areas of the info layer where you paint out which areas are viable and which areas are of different you know, viable areas, it's implying that that job has not been done thoroughly and there are some parts of that layer that are not defined as ownable by anyone. So you may or may not run into an issue where you think you own something and it basically, maybe in the middle of the field, basically says you don't own this part of the field, for example. Or for some reason, you can't place a placeable. Um, and the reason for that may be because it's not properly, that info layer is not properly painted. That is something important to note. If you run into problems, that might be why. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the map. Zoom on out. Again, this is a 4X map, so Field 24 is massive. Let's see, do we have a contract for Field 24? We do indeed, 730 acres. It's basically like, I don't know, the size of a one of a standard map, and it is uh, it's going to pay us a half million dollars to, f to fertilize that field. Wow, I wonder how long that's going to take? Basically, imagine. Imagine that basically from here, here, would cut this map into fourths, okay? That field 24 is almost an entire Felsburn or um, Ravenport all to itself. Let's go ahead and take a look at the lands. So you can see that we've got field 24 is just $1.5 million. Land is pretty cheap here on Wonderland. Field 16 is $600,000. Field 8 is $900,000. The little area is like thirteen, thirty-one thousand dollars $31,000. Forest, $106,000. Now, the area that we own at the start includes this area here, which basically should be flagged, well, other than fields 33 and 32. This whole area, in my opinion, should be flagged as unbuyable land specific zone or farm ID that you give on buyable land, but instead we basically own it at the start. We also own area 25, 
28 and 29. All of that is one specific area. And I will tell you that if you start this map up on Farm Manager or start from scratch, while the farm itself is built out, so everything we're going to see here in a little bit related to the farm, while all that is there, you start with no equipment and no owned land. So in order to buy basically where we start, we're going to need a whopping $23,000. Okay, so as I said on the intro, additional crops are carrot, onion, hops, tobacco, cabbage, red cabbage, spelt, and rye. Several cell points that deal with all of our standard crops on the map here. Several cell points also dealing with milk and eggs. A pair of cell points for cotton and wool. You have many BGAs on, BGAs on the map, as the description pointed out. In addition, there are three, oh, there's five distinct cell points. They are BGA 2, 3, oh, huh. and those, those not viable. Those aren't viable, then we can't can't dump at them and use them. BG three two huh. Kind of interesting that they're showing up here in the prices screen. Uh, but typically they shouldn't be showing up unless we have to purchase them. So that is kind of a little bit of a, uh, a red flag might be raised there. Those BGAs may not be functional from a tipping standpoint, meaning that we may not be able to put things in the bunkers. Then here we have our additional props. See, we have a small, very, very small fleet of starting equipment. No animals in the animal pins, and as we've already seen, we do have contracts on the map. Just go ahead and run on down here to the starting farm. So here we have the starting farm all built out. Let's go ahead and take a look at that starting equipment. Both garage, we have the Voltra E194 and the John Deere 6135M. So our tractors range in horsepower from 142 to 210 horsepower. We have the Ideal 9 T Harvester with row crop header. Enough, we do not have a grain header. Typically, we start with the grain header and don't have the row crop header. That is the reverse for this map. We've got the Crampy Bandit trailer and the Kinsey grain cart. And that pretty much wraps up the equipment that we start out with. And then we have lots of the Modding Welt American Barn Pack. Cow barn, the pig, and the horse stable. Well, it's a sheep and chicken house. We've got root crop storage, and then we have the big SCS barn silo from Modding Welt Pack. In addition to that, we've got some sheds that we can't sell. It's green sheds here, we can't seem to sell those. One of the fuel points on the map. Let's go ahead and check while we're at it. Those are in there. Custom fire hydrant that's in there. Eights. There are some custom placeables also. So if we are doing a start from scratch, our farm manager gameplay will be able to put some of these buildings down as they exist. Let's check see do we have a way of harvesting additional crops without going out and finding some mods to do that no we do not it does not appear that we have any way of harvesting those additional crops with the base map as it is presented to us we need to have some way of going out and harvesting those additional crops already in hand before we we'll do that Done a video on this modding welt pack, but we'll kind of do a high-level look through real quick. 
So this is the um, hay loft. Come and drop your grain, your hay in here. Then you'll get your hay out of there. Hay and straw and grass. Storage. We've got a silage bunker here. Have the chaff trigger. That. Back. Shed. Big equipment shed here. Appears to be empty at the moment. Now the maintenance barn. You have the fuel trigger. You have maintenance trigger and all that fun jazz. Here we have our chickens. The eggs will spawn here. Have your food trough. Chicken. Trigger is in here to buy your chickens. Root crop building. Around the back we have our sheep area. So clearly the wool is going to spawn there. We've got our water trigger. There for a sheep. This is where we are going to buy our sheep, feed them. Over here we have the pig farm. This is the horse area, sorry. Feed our horses. Water the horses. Farm silo here. Beat up, battered up farm silo. Be worried about that collapsing on us. Buy your horses, and I believe the straw trigger is also here. Feed trough. This is for the uh, cows. Check. On the fans, pretty cool. Just not at you. Yep, this is the cow barn. Butter trigger. We have our slurry and manure triggers over here for the cows. Kind of interesting that this would be grass here. I think that this would continue on with some type of plain dirt or gravel. Then over here we have our pig farm, pig enclosure, we have our manure point, food. And our straw trigger, pigs. Pigs delivered. There. And then the water trigger was right here. Slurry and water right beside each other. Still there. And that is pretty much the starting out farm area. So what we're going to do at this point is get our Mahindra, take a little bit of a drive around. Shop is literally across the street from the starting farm. Where, where oh where is my Mahindra going? Where oh where could my Mahindra be? Let's see, oh. There it is. Okay, zoom on out. We've got our customized repaired cell trigger here at the shop, right there at the side of the building. Look, and I think what we'll do is maybe maybe make our way north. 
and do a little bit of a loop and come around and head down to the south. We have some giant, or some giant um, fire hydrants. Just about as tall as I am. Holy cow, like a roller coaster here. Oh. Whoa! Go for a roller coaster ride. <laughs> a kitchen air. Alright, so we got a gas station coming up here. And just take a look around. So there is the ginormous field. Oh my. It's the field that's going to give us a half million dollars just to, just to fertilize it. What do you think it's going to cost in fertilizer to uh, be able to <laughs> fertilize that field? At least it's not flat. It does appear to have some rolling hills. It actually has a pond in the middle of it. it uh, some third world countries that are smaller than that field. Here we are coming up to BGA number two. And an additional fuel depot. Massive fire hydrants. Things are, things are huge. We are coming up to the BGA. Again, we can buy this. We can buy the BGA, but why is it showing up in this prices area? Already, I don't know. Kind of worries me a little bit. At any rate, something else that worries me with respect to the BGA is take a look. So I've got my F1 menu. I approach bunker. And uh, okay. Clearly, I'm not even close to the bunker. And I've already got the chaff trigger. That's telling me that I can unload chaff as far out as right here and blanket it. Way outside of the walls. In fact, if we go here to the other side, we have the chaff trigger all the way out to basically almost all the way out here to the grass point. Kind of worries me a bit. They're like that for all three of those. In fact, you can see the see the green. It's green, or if it's orange, or if it's yellow, whatever. You can see the box starts right here and extends way beyond the walls of the bunkers. Have some nice vehicle storage here at the BGA as well as that fuel depot. on up this way to the Zucker fabric so that is probably a sell point for sugar beets really steep hill Dump point. This is a little bit of different uh, orientation than I'm used to. Dump point right here.
Yeah. Come over here to another BGA. Built 17 there. Here's another BGA, and it shares the same, I don't know if I'd call it issue, but the same um, extra large triggers as other BGA. That much, much larger than the actual bunker models are. Just opening up other gate, which play. Make our way over here to the sawmill. Sage work. Close to a little bit of a forest up there. It's not a huge forest. Overall, it seems like the trees are kind of sparse here on the map, at least for the, so far, for the part that we've seen so far. Got a wood chip cell point. Then we've got our log cell point right there. It does look like the edges, the bushes here at the entrance of some of these roads or some of these lanes is uh, they don't have collisions. What is this? Got some uh, bushes here in the middle of the field. If you have to come just come through here with a plow you might be able to get rid of those. Of interesting to have those positioned there. Back here to this road. And I guess this way. Head will double back and go north and loop around and catch a silo. I think that's like a bakery, animal dealer, and such. Oh, spin out. Thinking about the uh, the road layout here on the map, kind of an interesting road layout. Not sure I exactly like the road itself, but the layout of the road I think is rather interesting and uh, and intriguing. Whoa! Someone like me that likes to drive around with your foot all the way on the floor. You'd kind of get yourself in trouble, I think, here on this map. That is a hops plantation. have collisions on them. Nope. 
Fence there. Okay. I'm just trying to cut through and uh, save a little bit of driving. We have the bakery cell point. Quite a ramp that we had to go through. Another little, little forest. What on earth is going on here? What was that? I just saw a car like landing from I don't know what. Move on before uh, before we find anything else weird going on. Got our animal dealer in here. Oh, did I miss it? Missed the turn off. Cell point. And the animal dealer trigger. Animal dealer trigger is right here. Go. Yeah. And then the cell point. Down here at the animal dealer. Have the. Uh, that one. And. Fallon and the fooder. Alan takes silage, hay straw, and grass, and the fooder takes milk, sugar beets, corn, soybeans, wheat, barley, and oats. All right, so there we go. There's the three triggers. We've got our Buy trigger there for our animals. We have our grain dump here. Then we have the other one right there in front of the door. Like most of our equipment is down here at field one or 28. We don't own field one. This is lined up here at 29. Maybe to harvest. Back to let's over here and check out the biogas plant. See if it has the same interesting extra large um, chaff triggers. Take that at high speed. Here we have our digestate trigger. Digester. Lots of buildings. Lots of buildings around here. Up oh, there they are. We've got one bunker. It does indeed also have the extra large area. Too bad you can't you can't sell those, can you? Let's see, let's check the ground. Nope, can't sell those. We don't have a whole bunch of bunkers in our in our inventory. It's kind of stuck here.
What's nice is we could choose to put down other stuff. Lots of meadows here. There's lots of grassland here. Decide to make that. Put down our own bunkers if we didn't. Those other ones that have the interesting oversize. Still get a kick out of these ginormous fire hydrants. They have a water trigger associated to them. I think they do. That's been that's been scaled up too. Oh, that's just just funny. on getting down here I like the river layout I think this map has a lot going for it uh, if it was just maybe a bit more on the uh, on the decorative side landscaped Forest, and now we're coming in kind of to a residential or a big, big town area. Lots of cell points down in this general vicinity. Here we have our dairy. I'd walk here along this road. Green cell point. point over here. I missed a couple cell points back there. Big parking lot. Cell point. Lots of lots of areas to sell your crops. Just good. So There's going to be lots of good price competitiveness in game. Especially if you use this for multiplayer, that is very handy. Do multiplayer, and there's only just a handful, or maybe even a single cell point, that can really, really put a detriment to one's ability to do any real profit, because it feels like you know the price is always reset, depressed, uh, because folks are always selling crops. I'm wrecked. There we go. Alright, now let's see here. There was a mention in the description about where you could buy fertilizer and all of that. What was it? At the nursery. Where is the nursery? Nursery. I don't see anything listed. I'm I'm guessing the nursery is here somewhere. Maybe it's the Raff the Raff Houston.
There. Not really sure where it is, so well, let's let's just move on. Head on up the road. <laughs> so, looking over there at the castle, <laughs> and it just looks like it's floating off there in the distance because I guess the draw distance on the castle is larger than the draw distance on the surrounding. Scenery. Trees need to uh, trees need to be popping in. Funny sight. So here we have another BGA. See, does this one have the same? Yep, same oversized triggers. Not, they don't look as oversized on this one, but still the same general oversized triggers as the other BGAs on the map. This little forest over here. And check the road. Right, we don't want to be doubling back. We need to be backing up. That road will take us back to the main starting farm. Want to take a little side branch here down by the gas station. Yes. That we're gonna in cab. Just kind of follow this around. The last two things that we're gonna take a look at here on the map. Great. Off the beaten path, we've got a cell point here. Then, if we continue off the beaten path, there is a lime station way down, way down over here. Here's some interesting. Here's interest. This may relate to that. Not all. Farmland info layer has been painted. We've got soybeans here, but then over here we've got a couple little little patch of sugar beets. All right, looks like we've got a big bulk lime pit up here. At least the fields aren't, you know, I like how these fields are, they're not square, they are you know, kind of rolling, have a little bit of a natural feel to them. Aw, oh, is this the nursery? This is the nursery, okay. So here's where we can buy our manure and slurry, I bet. Yep, there's our manure, our slurry, our lime, and our fertilizer buy area this mentioned where you can buy lime fertilizer liquid manure and solid manure down here at the nurseries so this is nursery good thing we didn't spend too much time trying to find it in town so well 
This is either lime or fertilizer. Both are white. You have this, which is typically the lime silo. Slurry point, and then our solid manure. So guys, that is Wonderland. Let me know in the comments, what do you think of Wonderland version 1.1 multi-fruit? And until next time, happy farming.